Bob Hormatz, vice chairman of Kissinger Associates. Bob, you know, if you're vice chairman of Kissinger Associates, you probably know a thing or two about foreign policy in China. You recently wrote for The Hill an op-ed, U.S. risks falling behind China on technology and innovation if we don't reset our priorities. What should our priorities be, Bob? Well, the Chinese are investing a huge amount in support for their STEM graduates. They're turning out a lot of STEM experts. They're putting a lot of money into basic R&D. They're building a modern competitive infrastructure. We're falling behind in all those, the number of STEM graduates, our R&D, particularly basic R&D by the federal government. The National Science Foundation has gone down. We're certainly not building infrastructure. It's deteriorating. We're so preoccupied with the negotiations with China, we should spend a lot more time and attention identifying what we need to do at home to maintain our lead in international competition, particularly in modern technology. We're ahead now, but the Chinese are catching up fast. We've got to now, deal you with know the what, Chinese. Bob, and I get all that, and it's a wonderful op-ed. And you know, we just celebrated 50 years since landing on the moon, so the space race, all the technology uh, that came out of that, and the cottage industries you brought up in your article, uh, the interstate system under Eisenhower. I get it, but there's also, besides the delegation going to China right now, which is why I wanted you on today. We also have budgetary issues, not only here, but around the globe. Debt is growing really fast, even in China, which is what you underscore doing good things. But if we're paying for it all with other people's money, doesn't that take away some of the good parts of it? Well, there are two things. One, how we use the money we borrow. If we're using it for very competitive purposes to strengthen our competitiveness, that's good. The problem is a lot of it is not being used for that. And you put your finger on it over the longer term. If you're, if you're confident that rates are going to stay low and growth is going to continue to be relatively good for years and years and years, you don't have anything to worry about. On the other hand, when you build up a lot of debt, if growth deteriorates and if interest rates rise somewhere down the future, then you really have to pay the piper. Then that debt comes home to haunt you unless it's really used for very productive purposes, which most of it is not at this point. So it feels very good now to have low interest rates. The problem is if you borrow in China or the United States or elsewhere and the economy weakens or rates go up, then that debt can be a problem and a drag on growth rather than a boost to growth. You know, since we're on the topic and we're still shadow boxing with the notion of what could be agreed on as some kind of deal, grand or not, with China on trade, in the last 45 seconds or so, one thing I have noticed, Bob, I'm seeing a lot of stories about the Chinese buying grain as the first step. After everything we've been through, and food at some point isn't necessarily something is used as a bargaining chip, it's an essential. And China's going to need to buy, many countries are going to need to buy our grains. There has to be more to the deal than just a good grain component. Finish us up, Bob. Well, I think that's right. I think the grain and LNG and things like that will give a boost to the economy. But what has been a contentious issue for some time are issues like intellectual property, trade secrets. So I think both sides have to be working on some kind of arrangement to protect intellectual property in particular, in part because we want to protect it, but in part also because China is now developing a lot of its own innovation, a lot of its own intellectual property. And every time I go there, there are a lot of Chinese who say, we want our intellectual property protected too. So there are areas where there are some convergence uh, of interest between the two countries. It just can't be buying things that has to be dealing with some common sets of rules or procedures or norms, but we're not going to settle this all at once. Well, we're out Part of time. Of it, we're going to have to leave it there, Bob. I certainly there'll be a hope process that, that goes on later. Yes, doesn't shorten the process to only give us a grain deal. We do need so much more. Thank and you for your time. a long-term process, yes.